Okay, so I made a little track here so I can talk without going through all these reverb plugins and amplifiers and stuff. So what I wanted to show you was that on your click track, and we can't really solo the click, it's kind of not meant to be soloed, but we can mute all these other guys. And I could make a group and mute them, I guess, but so now if I play the click, turn him on and just play him there. And I want to show you this, that your click can also send to things like the reverb, if you wanted it there, but your click can have different pitches. And by that, I mean, if you look in factory default, you can see that there's other things that the click can be. This MPC, of course, is very popular. And we could send that sound to a plugin like a delay. And let's have it be a medium delay. Now, I'll just leave it in mono, even though it could become stereo. And let's see if it just plays with a little bit of feedback. Okay, so it's following my tempo. If I take this off, it'll conform to whatever tempo is here. Turns out it's following 120. That's just fine. That's what I wanted it to do. And now if we pitched that down a little bit, let's do this, because we can maybe do this in real time. And let's see if we can take this down a bit. really feeling that. Let's try downward spiral. All right, so we could be in here all day, right, experimenting with this, but the point is we took our regular click, which is already keeping time for us, and sent it through a delay to get more clicks going, but perfectly on the beat, and then pitch shifted those guys when they return from the delay, so that if I unmute this guy and this guy and these guys that are hiding back here, then I get, back to bar one. And there's this little click guy going along back there, keeping time, probably better rhythm than me and better rhythm than most little percussion guys. So there's a way to use your sort of building clock to create little percussion parts. If you wanted to print this, you could send it off to an aux, right? You could send it off to another track, to a bus and grab the bus and send that to a track and print this and pitch shift it. And so Lots of options for getting little percussion parts that are sort of built right out of your click. Wanted to show you that before we called it a day on this chapter. And there's one other hint coming up that I think you'll find a way to use at some point. So that's next.